Hi, I'm Karthik. I'm a traveler and I've been actively traveling for over 15 years now. Travel is a means for me to connect with the world that I've not seen and disconnect from the world I come from. I am Kachu Travels. Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Kovalong Surf Trail. In this episode, we will be chatting up with Krishna, who's part of the Mantra Surf Club in Mangalore, then with John T. Rhodes, who talks about surfing in Kovalong, and then finally, we catch up on some yoga classes and then dive straight in to Malavika Manod's concert at the Kovalong Surf Festival. Surfing is a really big thing for me, so before surfing, there was a lot of things. I was I was very young. I didn't really know much about it, much, much of things. But when I got into surfing, I started really appreciating everything around me, especially the nature around me. I really love the nature, and I great respect for it ever since I started surfing. It, the whole thing gave me so big exposure how how bad we are towards nature and how kind she's been towards us. So. And I love being it, and it's a peaceful. And like whenever I'm out in the water, it's a very, it's, I'm very calm, and it's very peaceful for me. It's like more like a meditation for me, and I just love that. It's just an amazing sport. It's, it's it might be all competitive thing and all, but when you're out there surfing, it's just pure joy and fun. Yoga surf festival. It's been really amazing experience. Every time I come here, and people are really good, and overall, it's just super nice, good vibes, and really great fe festival. And it's, it's just a way of best way to introduce people to surfing and bringing them to a whole new experience of different sport which is still picking up in India. The other key here as well, what they've done is that they've introduced a younger category because the future of surfing, the future of any sport, is always in the youngsters. So up until this contest, we will now have an under 12 session, or under 12 section, and some of the young, these youngsters here are 10, 11. So to see that enthusiasm, but then give them the opportunity, because prior to that, they had to compete under 13, under 16, and there was no way they were going to be competitive. So now to get them into the water and compete and winning, which is what you want them to do to inspire to get to the next level and compete with, you know, and watch other competitors at different age groups. So that is the key, is promoting surf at a, at a young level. So it might not be in the first Olympics that you see in Indian athletes, but it's you know, two Olympics later, out of nowhere. Because let's face it, with the sort of population on the, and the amount of coast that you have, if you get enough interest from sponsors, from administrators, because the interest is with the local surfing, the communities have, have grown. In the five years I've been here at Kovalong, I mean, just to see the, the amount, firstly the number of surfers you bring, the women surfers that we have as well, and then just the skill levels. So in five years, that's, keep thinking, well, you know, five years is a, is a long time, but from a surfing point of view, it's not really. You only get three contests in a year. Cricket players get, Indian cricket team, get 200 days of year of match. You know, match. So they, they, they refine their skills day in and day out. These guys get maybe three contests in a year that they can even, some of them only one in their hometown. They can't afford to go to Murki or to go to uh, wherever the other ones are. You know, so, so from that, that point of view, it's a difficult, it's a long, and as much as possible that we can get the young surfers into this sort of competitive environment, the better. Because we can all practice, the cricket's easy in the net. I was even a good batsman in the net. <laughs> but I tell you what, when it came to the match, yeah, I was tense and nervous. And, you know, so when you're in a match environment, it's very difficult to, to practice. So as much contest as possible for the younger guys. Well, here's the introduction to what we're going to do today. We're going to be taking you through different asanas, pranayams, meditations to stimulate each of these chakras. So those of you who are extremely earth-oriented people, for you balance poses will be very easy. It will be natural for you. No need to train for it. Those of you who are water kind of people, creative people, forward bending will be very, very easy. No need to train for it. Those people who are fiery, backward bending will be natural. Those people who are like me, who are typically air sign kind of people, we love twists. It's natural for us, we just like to twist the body. Those people who are mainly sort of ether kind of people, they will love to do inverted postures. Uh, what's also important is that every single thing that we do in yoga is just to raise energy, go up, 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 
I've, I've chosen to wear this, wear this t-shirt which has all the chakras on it. But in yoga, we don't really believe in any such thing as positive thinking or negative thinking. If you're energetic, you will be loving. It's when you're low on energy that you'll be jealous, you'll be petty. And with that ends this episode. So if you like what you're seeing, please do share this video, please do comment and of course please do subscribe to see similar such videos.